Hello everyone, my name is Tyson and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and or run your old MS-DOS computer games using DOSBox. Before we get into all this, let me give you a brief overview of what DOSBox is. DOSBox is a program meant to emulate the hardware and software necessary to run computer games that have far become obsolete. You may be asking, why would anyone want to do this? The main answers are nostalgia and that some people feel that older games are actually far superior in design and feel. Now that's out of the way, first things first, you're going to want to obtain MS-DOS games. You can do this from a number of websites that host abandonware, or older games that the copyrights to have been abandoned, ergo the phrase abandonware, and you can legally obtain them for free. You may also have a few laying around on floppy disks, but honestly, who has a floppy drive these days? You can find abandonware by simply going to Google and searching the term abandonware, or by going to the links in the description below. After you've downloaded a DOS game, you can proceed to obtaining DOSBox. You can find this link in the description below or by searching DOSBox and going to the official site. Once you do that, you can extract the files to a folder of your choice, but for the steps that follow, you may want to make a folder called DOSBox in your root directory. You'll want to either make a folder in DOSBox or make a folder in the root directory called Games4D or games for dos while I own two versions of the original Doom on Steam and on Xbox Live Arcade, which don't require installation outside of the initial download, I'll use Doom as an example of a game that requires an installation. As an off-topic note, you can get a source port of Doom, which there are many of because of Doom's legendary fame that allow for more functionality, more intuitive mods, and enhanced graphics. Check the description for more information. Now, back on topic. First thing you do is locate your game. Once you know where your game is, open the DOSBox.exe program provided in the download. Once opened, type in mount, a single arbitrary letter, X for this example, the directory of the game, and hit enter. This creates a virtual drive where the game is located. After that, you type X colon, and then press enter. Or if you choose a different letter, then press that letter then colon. That will take you to your virtual drive. Once in, you look in the folder for any files with the word setup or install, normally followed by the file extension bat or exe. Once you find the file, type in the file name. You often don't have to type in the file extension, but go ahead and type it for good measure. After all, it's only a fraction of a second or a second if you don't know how to type properly. In the case of Doom, the file is install.bat. Hit enter and it should bring you to an install prompt or just an install progress bar. This varies by game, a prompt in Doom's case. It'll take a few minutes, so I'll just skip to when it's done, where it takes us to the setup file for the hardware. Let's just pick our music and sound effects cards here. Wait. That doesn't sound right. Let's quit and change that. Okay, that's better, but the music's too MIDI. Not instrumental enough. One more try. As it turns out, for Doom, the best sound and music card is the Sound Blaster card. As a side note, a general rule while using DOSBox is that when you're setting up games that you're going to have to kind of guess and check what the audio cards are. Either that or go on a forum and have them for you. That's it for games that require an installation. Let's move on to games that don't require an installation. I have Tetris. Why not? Everyone loves Tetris. Same thing as before, you just find your file directory and mount it, but this time you'll be looking for a file that often will have the game's name, either in full or abbreviated. For me, that's mount space x space c colon backslash dosbox backslash games backslash tetris. Hit enter, then type in x colon, hit enter again. Finally, type in tetris.exe and hit enter. And there you have it, playing older games on DOSBox. But before I leave you all, small note about games that don't require an installation like the original Tetris. 
if you can find a later rendition of it like Tetris Gold or Tetris Classic that looks better and actually has a user interface, I would suggest you do so. Original DOS Tetris looks like crap and you have to experiment to learn what the controls are by jamming every key on your keyboard just to find out what flips the pieces. Of course, that's just my opinion on that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. There may be more to come on similar subjects, so if you feel like you learned something, go ahead and subscribe and have a great day.